Hello. Y'all should know me by now. All, all the people on the little big big, big fan community, as well as all my side chain rose chew fans. If not, my name is Christian Chandler. Okay. Anyway, I'm here today to introduce a level I've just created. It's more of a concept, really, and a useful tool. I present to you the little bit plant collector's case. You can make ro with rows and boxes for uh, putting all your things in. You see, the problem is uh, you get to. You, you, have you ever had the problem where you get so many items off of the. Uh, online levels that it ends up messing up your uh, pro you get, you get the message saying that it's too large you can't save your profile well hopefully the, hopefully this case will be able to uh, solve that little problem all right so I'll tell you what you do first off uh, come on these parts uh, we got three main parts for you to play with this level is copyable or if you want to save time you can put it together yourself anyway yeah uh, yes Three main parts, you'll find them in the first box here. Other than that, all the other boxes are empty, so it's just a straight path when you first play it. So anyway, yeah, we got the bottom row, we got the starting row here. It's a uh, set of five four by four boxes for each row. And uh, we got the upper row, which uh, comes with uh, the, which is only the upper row comes with the uh, sponge that comes up and down. And then we got the re I mean, which by the way, the upper levels are reusable. And uh, we got all the reusable bomb rows as well. So basically, the uh, setup is uh, what you want to do is uh, after you get all the uh, levels, you have to get all the uh, parts here. You can add on. So. You, you can, so you can add more uh, items into your into the case there. And which, by the way, if uh, when you when you place them, you want to make sure it, when you place the rows on top of each other, you want to make sure they line up. So flip them around a bit for one time or another. As well on the uh, bottom row, we have the uh, bottom. So you can just place that down there. Just tuck that in. As well as everybody on the uh, upper row. Right, so basically. The idea of the whole collector's case here is backing up all your items so that uh, when you get to that point, you just back up all your items into each of these little boxes. And when you, if you feel like you need, you need, not, you need one of those items for uh, level you want, you're working on, you just come back into the uh, level. You just come back into your own version of this level after you add your items and go get them. Anyway. Also, with the uh, I put chains on all the in on all the inside boxes because you want to go left to right among the boxes. But they're all set 41.5 by 5 maximum minimum and speed of four seconds and time and pause for two seconds. But also with the pistons, they're all set for uh, you know maximum 115 minimum of 35 and then four and two again, making sure they're stiff. So anyway, what you want to do with the uh, all this here. Uh... All right, so I'm just gonna take a small item here and put it up there. And yeah, what you want to do first off, uh, for a, you know, I recommend it. Take a picture of just the item. See, that's what I'm talking about. That thing. Alright, so you can just do away with that. You find an empty box. I'll just use this one up here, it's fine. Put your little sticker in the background of the uh, item you want to put in, want, item you want to save into that box. And there you go. Then you want to grab yourself a prize bubble. Put it all the way into the back there. 
and you want to make sure you uh, just look just high enough so you can jump for it on the bottom row or uh, you know you can swing with the uh, ball and chain there to get him on the upper level but you don't want to be able to reach it up by default if you don't want to go for that item right away and then of course uh, you know how it works Uh, if you know how it works, assuming you've, uh, assuming if you're watching this, you put together a level of your own, something like that. Right, so you put your prize, you put your prize in the bubble, and then you can do this. You can either tie it to the ceiling with a string, or hold the back, hold the back, hold the uh, L2 button while you got it there, and just glue it. And it'll stay there. So it'll be there for you when you come, when you uh, need it. And you pick it up. But of course, uh, when you got your, when you're putting together your own version of this thing, you want to make sure you have the scoreboard at the end of the bottom row. But anyway, you can anyway, the sky's the limit. You can go as far. You can make this collector's case of your own. You customize your own way. Use the number of use your own stickers. All the items, whatever, do what you want, it's your call. So anyway, yeah, sky's the limit for up to the ceiling and between walls. Individual little one by five rows that you can just stack horizontally or vertically, but you want to make sure you end up the scoreboard. You can back you can back up the uh, you, you can back up your own version with all your with all your items on the little big plant server. Where at that point uh, you want to make sure that you only you can access it, so that other people won't go stealing from it. You can also back up every item you use for your own custom levels that you put together. So it really works. So uh, I don't know what I thought of it, Christian Weston Chandler. So you know you can thank me for it. Of course for Sonic Shoe. All right, so that's been, that's the update. So hope you all enjoy it, and y'all take care.